Hey second graders! Today we're going to be talking about fractions. It's a little bit of review and it's a little bit of something new. So today I have my butter knife and I have a few tortillas. The tortillas are going to represent my whole today. So the first thing I want to do with my first tortilla is I want to divide it into halves. How many pieces are in um, a whole that's divided into halves? Two. So I'm going to divide this into two pieces, and I have to make sure that my pieces are exactly equal. So let me do it. Okay. I've divided it into half-sized pieces. Now, are my pieces exactly equal? Yes, or I tried to get them to be. So this is a one-half size piece, and just to review my fraction, this is called a numerator, this is called a denominator. The denominator tells me the size of my pieces, so this is a half sized piece. And my numerator tells me how many pieces, the number of pieces that I'm talking about. So I'm just talking about one half size piece, that's one half. Alright, moving on to my next tortilla. I am going to divide this one up into fourth size pieces. So again, I need to divide it right down the middle to make halves first. Bear with me. All right, so now I've made halves, and now I'm going to divide those halves in half to make fourths. All right, so now, oh, hold on. I have four equal sized pieces, which means I have fourths. Now, if I'm just talking about one fourth, I can use this fraction because I have fourth sized pieces, and my number of pieces that I'm talking about right now is just one. One fourth. All right, on my last tortilla, I'm going to be dividing this one up into eighths, which is going to be the hardest task yet, because this butter knife is not as sharp as I thought it was going to be, so it's a little bit tricky to do with one hand, but here we go. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide it into halves. Okay, and then I'm going to divide each half in half to make fourths. I'm trying really hard to make these equal sized pieces. All right, there's my fourths. And now I'm going to divide each of these in half to make eighths. All right, so far so good. made my eight equal size pieces, so one of these is just one eighth. Let me put the rest away. And this is one eighth size piece. Eight is my denominator because it's the size of my piece, it's an eighth size piece, and I'm only talking about one right now, so that's one eighth. All right, awesome job so far. What if I wanted to look at two eighths? And what if I wanted to compare two eighths with my one fourth size piece? What do you notice about these two pieces? Right, two eighths is the same size as one fourth. We would call these equivalent fractions. Everybody say equivalent fractions. Okay, so if I look up here, one fourth is equal or equivalent to two eighths. Those are equivalent fractions because they're the same. If I'm talking about the same whole, then these are going to be the same size. One fourth 
and 2 eighths. Now let's talk about 1 fourth and 1 half. Let's compare the size of these pieces. How many fourths would I need to have the same shape as a 1 half size piece? Let's try two. Does two fourths equal one half? Yes, it does. They're the same size. So one half is equivalent to two fourths. Hmm. I think that I could make the same shape as these two using eighths. How many eighths do you think I would need? Let's try it. All right, here's one eighth. Two eighths. Three eighths. And four eighths. Is four eighths equivalent to two fourths and one half? Are these all the same size piece? Yes, they are. So four eighths is going to be equivalent to two fourths and one half. So your job today is to walk around your house and find something that you can split up, just like I did, and try to make an equivalent fraction, just like I did. Maybe it's one half equals two fourths, maybe it's one half equals four eighths, maybe it's two fourths equals four eighths, whatever you want. Or you could try a different one that I didn't just do. Um, it's up to you, be creative about it, and I want you to take a picture of it when you're finished and see if you can write what your fractions are so that I know what your fractions are and how they're equivalent. All right, see you later.